Hi guys, this is Big Ego Media, women's podcast. And you're here with lots. And Tame Mahindi. So today we're going to be talking about why I hate men oh so much. God, and I've why? given up faith in them. Um, so like I was saying earlier, I used to be someone that used to give men the benefit of the doubt all the time. Mm. But I feel like I've really been pushed to the point of like no return now. <laughs> because <laughs> of recently... I have heard some crazy R stories. Yeah, men can be a bit, but sometimes I think it's the type of man that you go for. Like you women like to go for the bad boys or the Fair enough. really hot boys, and that obviously comes that could come. But with. it's like I don't think I should have to like. I like I'm a pretty girl. I right. like pretty people. I like Same, people that like, look good. No, Do you real, know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think I should have to compromise on somebody because even the other day I was thinking to myself like the only way I feel like I'm gonna get a loyal man is if he's ugly. And even that's then, not true. no, but that's how I feel. No, that like, ugly guys are not loyal as well. If they're no, that's what I'm saying. It's just if you're, it's, I don't think it's whether to do with your looks or anything like that. It's whether are you loyal or are you not. Yeah, I don't think it's got anything to do with. I don't know what you look like or anything like that. I just feel like for me personally, like like I said, I was on men's side. I was trying my hardest. I was like, no, guys, trust me. Like, you know, th- this and this and that. And like you said, the people that you go for. And for me personally, I've never really gone for a bad boy until recently. <laughs> do you like the bad boys? Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, do you know what it is? I've gone for good boys all my life because mm-hmm. I'm like a really sensible person. Right. I like to think with my head instead of my heart kind of thing. And I've always gone for men I feel like will offer me stability in terms yeah, of like, definitely. they'll be loyal, they'll be good. You know, I don't have to worry about them going jail and being like a jail wife and all of that. You know, if that's what you're doing, that's fine. But for me personally, it's not sort of- Do you know what, yeah, for me, growing up, I feel like I've always gone for, I think I've probably followed my heart then mm. because I've just gone for like attraction Yeah. first. No, attraction, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then but it, then there's attraction, like someone could be good looking, but mm-hmm. you don't know what sort of boy they are. No. So they could be good looking and they're just, they're a good boy or they're good looking they're a bad boy but mm. usually if i'm going for someone and they're good looking once i find out they're a bad boy it puts me off yeah it depends how bad they are though yeah if they're like proper gang but what's bad to you like, like proper like bad boy to me is like in and out of jail okay um, right. anger issues like i've done a lot of crime okay i've never that's really what i think anyone. a bad boy that's what i think a bad boy is okay isn't it? me personally a bad boy just has no respect for anyone but me which I find kind of trash. That's <laughs> you think that's a bad boy. I'm not gonna no like, respect for anyone but, but me. <laughs> no, I would want my I would want my bad boy to have respect. No, but that's what people. I'm saying. I was on the good boy thing, but do you know what? I know it's mad because like good boys just don't win. For me personally, when I had a good boyfriend, like I was like, okay, I like you, but this is a little bit boring. Do you know what I mean? Like I need a little bit of spice. Yeah. Like I need you to be like, are you fucking dumb? And I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh my no, god. To, for real, like, I feel like. What you mean by that is that like you lack a man of authority. Like I yes, lack a man of authority, the, that demand respect yes. in a like alpha male kind of way, not yes. in an aggressive way. Like yeah. he's gentle, but he's also authoritative. Um, I think in terms of bad boys, I don't like a bad boy. In terms yeah, I of, can't do the in and out. But of I do thing. like a bit of oomph. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like a little but bit. But there's loads of good boys that have oomph as well. Yeah, like my ex boyfriend, like <laughs> I got three now. <laughs> <laughs> my ex boyfriend had a lot of oomph, but mm. he was a good boy. But then my other ex boy boyfriend had a lot of oomph, and he was a bad boy. So it's like at this I point, like, I don't I like really know. In the, in the middle. In the middle, yeah, like a gangster and a gentleman. But I just feel like at this point, it's like, like I was saying before, I was trying to give like my trust to men, but mm. I just I think I've gotten to the point where it's like, do all men cheat? I don't know. I don't think all men cheat, but. According to podcasts yeah. that are out right now, <laughs> a lot of men cheat, and there's only a small. So what am I? So does. what am I gonna do as somebody that doesn't accept cheating? Because like I know I there's a you, th- but, go on, sorry, no, sorry. <laughs> there's loads of people like that say they don't condone cheating and they will still stay with their partner, and I would never judge because the heart wants what the heart wants. Do you yeah, know I mean? just feel like it's. Uh, I feel like it's up to the individual. Everyone has their life. But I'm talking about me as an individual. Give me advice right now, as somebody, right, so as think, someone that doesn't condone cheating. What am I to do? If you don't condone cheating, what do I stop do? Stop having sex. Yes, that's yeah. it. which go which, celibate. Yeah, which I'm doing yeah. currently. Um, work on yourself. Yeah, yeah. I feel like like I'm perfect. And what then else is there to work on? I don't know. When you're <laughs> when you start dating, yeah, yeah. We lay your that. boundaries yeah. out from the first which I date. usually do can I tell yeah. you like a really quick even story even though they lie sometimes yeah exactly can I tell you a quick story that. like I've always been that person I've always mm. been like to my friends do you know what lay your boundaries let a man know blah 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 mm. but what I've realised recently within my own dating experience is like when you lay your boundaries too early a man copies that a man mm. just he just emulates what you want in a man so I feel like for me personally as someone with really high standards I'm very straightforward like within two weeks you know what I like what I don't like mm. I feel like a guy if he wants to be with me he's going to pretend to be that so so I'm kind of stuck between like not telling men my boundaries anymore and just letting men do what they want. I want to see no, the real like, you. 
I heard that. that is only, yeah, you're going to see the real person, but at the same time, I think it's good to state what you require. But I'm scared I mean? now because you... I've now come from a situation now where a man has really emulated what I've wanted yeah, him to be for a year. Don't use that to like guide your next yeah. relate don't do that like always just no i don't think you should do that i, I shouldn't think, i know no don't I like know. but it's judge scary. others based on your but it's so, do you know what? i've always said that but it's so scary now yeah, because it's, it's scary, like though. imagine sitting with someone and you're thinking yeah like this is the blissful most perfect relationship mm. and then finding out that this is happening like yeah but me, nothing's guaranteed i don't think we should, we should live like that we should just be hopeful. I, tr- I think i trust too much with trusting because you know what as a self i would say i would say i'm quite self-assured mm-hmm. i'd say i'm quite confident like in my head cheating on me is like the worst decision you'll ever make in your life because <laughs> look at me, for, real, I mean? for real so i feel like in my head i'm really trusting because i'm just like you'd never cheat on me like my man could literally go missing for a day which has but happened. there's men that say yeah like i've watched podcasts here yeah, where men are saying that how women view cheating is not the same way a man views but this cheating is my they issue. just see it as like it's just a beat. There's no, no emotional it. attachment. Whereas we see it as like, oh my gosh. So, so how a man views it is different. To how but a woman you know views what it. I don't like about that situation is mm. like it's very misogynistic for me personally. Yeah. Because okay, cool. Let's say you do view men cheating as like non-emotional and it's just like she's pretty and I just wanted to what kind of thing. Cool. Mm. So why don't you view it like that for women? Because if yeah. I cheat on a man, I'm a hoe. I'm this. I'm that. But maybe I, because me personally, I'm. I I'm don't sorry, think that if you cheat on a man, you're a hoe, though. No, but that's how they like, see you, it. There though. could be so they many different reasons like why that. you cheat on a man. You could have been in an abusive relationship, but this and there was another saying, man that you it, leaned though. on that. Like, so it's not necessarily for like them. You're a hoe. For them, it's non-emotional. But I get why it's seen differently because you're like a man's entering into you, and women we tend to like having emotions behind when we sleep with people and we tend to have an emotion. But I not get every, why they but see it that way, like that, but I don't think everyone's like that. I do believe a woman can sleep with a man, yeah, and yeah. it's nothing. Exactly. Like, women have one night stands too, like, exactly. so I don't believe that, but it's just majority of times I under, you build yeah, like and a I agree connection with, with a I man agree. first, you know what I mean? 100%. So that's where that comes from. But for from, me, but it's like, I like the same standards for men and women, not even in the sense where like, cool, like me personally, I'm, I would say I'm quite a feminist. But mm. I, st- I don't believe everyone, like men included, women included, I don't think we should all be sleeping around. I'm not being no, a fan of that. Yeah. But I feel like that should be a standard that's set for both of us. Do you get it? It shouldn't mm-hmm. be my standard and then your standard is... Because for me personally, what I've realised is men, men can be saying, oh, I've got a body count of 40. I have to have a body count of three. I'm confused. <laughs> like, what's going on? There's something not right here. Do you get what I'm coming yeah, from? That- I'd, like the, the thing standard is, should yeah, be that all our body counts should be men free. exactly because this is it's still the same thing in terms of like energy exchange exactly and, like it's still the same and thing. I feel like men but that unfortunately have... we just live in that type of world where women are because we're seen as you know pure and feminine yeah. we shouldn't really be doing the same things that men are doing even though it's wrong I do think it's yeah. wrong and that men should be held accountable for it yeah. for sleeping around as well but it's just I, I just understand why you get it. it's viewed that way not I, that don't, I don't I agree mean, personally I don't get it but I, I understand why it's viewed that way but I don't necessarily agree that it should be yeah. viewed that way I feel I've like never cheated and I don't think I've ever had a one night stand. How can you not think? No, what because, is that? Is that yes because no? the thing is, yeah, you might like meet someone, you have a nice connection with them, everything's going well, yeah, and yeah. then you sleep with them and it's like, oh. Okay, fair enough. Like, what, it depends on what you consider a one night stand. Is a one night stand like where you like meet you, someone yeah, on that same night? And and, no, no, no. Yeah, not like you've the met them night. that night. And no, 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 no. Okay. But like one night stand is like you might sleep with them once and not sleep with them yeah. again because you're thinking, oh, this didn't really. Yeah, for me, for me personally, I've never had a one night stand. I don't believe in them. I feel like that's kind of it's really like, dangerous mm, yeah um if you're doing that whole tight unit but me personally i don't do but cheating i have cheated on someone oh my before. gosh i haven't i'm so I loyal have. it's really bad i'm, so loyal. <laughs> I'm not it's, can i just put it out there that i don't believe cheating is right and me personally when i cheated on that person i had to leave the person because i just felt like they didn't deserve that and i don't done. believe cheating is right but i believe that a man can cheat on a woman and still love the woman oh, and i believe that a woman oh, and i believe yeah i believe that a man can cheat on a woman and still love i her don't woman. believe that I'm and sorry. i also believe a woman can cheat on her man and still love her man okay so the standards are the same yeah i believe that's that what i'm saying like as long I as the standards are the same yeah i know that men don't believe that why did I cheat? Well, personally, that's very personal. <laughs> but, um, okay, in my situation, um, I just felt like, do you know what? I'm going to be honest. I don't think I should say that because we're very like, I can't, I can't say that. I'm going to be honest with you. But I cheated because I think I was very childish at the time. And instead of like facing issues head on, I decided to do something. And I honestly, to be honest with you, I didn't think it was going to go that way, mm. but it happened. But now I know the steps to take to avoid that. Because you know, when something's happening, like in hindsight, I could have stopped it at so many points, but I was just like, no. And to be straight up, like, it wasn't like mad cheating. It was just like a little kiss. What do you mean? It, it was, was a little kiss. No, no, cheating. like, I didn't sleep. I didn't, it wasn't mad no, cheating. No, no, I didn't sleep know. with someone <laughs> behind my boyfriend's back, by the way, oh, oh, before I X myself out of the ticker. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but you know what? It was it was cheating nonetheless. It was wrong regardless. And cheating yeah, for me, it can be wrong. a text. It can be all the way up to sex. It can be a fair five kids in a different country. Mm. It's all wrong. Do you get it? So, yeah. So, second topic. You invite a guy over. Mm -hmm. Is he supposed to, like, offer you stuff to bring over to the house? Or are you supposed to have stuff ready at the house, like food cooked, prepared? Or is he supposed to offer that? Like, okay, think? cool. So, I'd like to start by saying that I don't live by myself at the moment. Mm -hmm. But if I did, a man would not be coming to my house. That's number one. Because I feel like <laughs> if I had my own house, you need to have your own house too. And I need to come over there. Do you get it? For okay. safety purposes, I just want to say that first. Second of all, I feel like as somebody who's hosting a person, I think it's just manners to have food and drink in your yeah. house. It doesn't matter if you're having sex with them or not. Like, yeah. if my friends are coming over to my house, like, what are they supposed to starve whilst they're sitting in my house? Like, mm -hmm. a drink, water, do you know what I mean? Just yeah. basic things. Like, like, I'm not saying you have to cook a mad meal, but... You, yeah, like, you don't have to cook a mad meal, but you should have at least stuff in your house to offer them a drink, offer them some, some mm -hmm. snacks or whatever. Some, mm -hmm. Not necessarily a meal. It, also, it depends on the longevity of this connection that you've got with this person. Yeah. Is it yeah. the first time he's coming to your house? Yeah. Does he always come to your house? Yeah. Like, and also, a man shouldn't necessarily be expected to offer Thank you. to bring stuff. But I feel like naturally, as a man, every, especially every if he's expecting. really into you, mm. you, naturally, he will always, oh, do you want anything from yeah, yeah, That will be a natural yeah. thing. Yeah. But it shouldn't necessarily be expected. Yeah. But it's nice, like, especially if you're building a, you've built a nice connection with this person it's, mm -hmm. you're in a relationship naturally a man's gonna say well like for me personally as well like i said like i'm very big on people coming to my house like, i don't really let like only my friends come to my house so for me if you're coming in my house i clearly have some sort of affection towards you and i would mm -hmm. want you to not die whilst you're there like <laughs> drink some water do you yeah, know what I mean? obviously, yeah. so like i'm confused why this is even a topic but because I, I think it's because there was a guy saying that he went to some girl's house and there yeah. was no food in that but house. even like it, okay in that situation cool like you come to my house there's no water there's no food all right mm. fine that's wrong of me personally because i've grown up like that but say you're who in a situation are you? though where like something's happening you're in really hardship hardship that's hardship. What, that's what i'm about Some to say real hardship. That's what, but, but, who, be no but, who, but who are you to, to ask me like if you didn't see food then there's no food i don't yeah, get it like who are you to say oh by the way there's no food where's the food um it's none of your business you, you came, offer like to be very honest let's be on you came here for sex right exactly that's what it was so, so if you're why? hungry then what should what <laughs> feed yourself what should you yourself eat? before you arrive if you're hungry so, like, what should you energy? eat <laughs> if you're hungry <laughs> what should you eat no but bad. seriously like Listen. i understand like cool like me personally i've grown up like that like my mom's always like Give your friends food. Give your friends food. Yeah. Like, even when I was younger, you know, you're like 10, you don't really understand. So my mom's like, no, no, no. When someone comes to your house, yeah. you offer them a drink. You offer them whatever you have, you share it. Mm -hmm. Cool. But me personally, I would never open my mouth in someone's house if and they say, didn't offer me a drink. Yeah, to say, be like, right, you ain't got Could I have, yeah, right, where's yeah. the drink? Are you mad? Yeah. So who are you? But it does, like, it's the, as a guy now, but it just, I don't know because I'm, I'm a realist. Like, say I went to a guy's house, for example, yeah, and my mouth was dry. And I'm just sitting there yapping off my mouth and my mouth is getting dry and dry. Mm. And he still has to offer me no, a drink. No, but I understand, yeah. I will either be like, right, I'm going to go to the shop and get a drink. Or I'll be like, have you got a drink, please? But for me... Because I'm not going to sit there with my dry mouth. No, I get you. <laughs> but what you know I, for me personally, yeah, if I go to someone's house, a guy I'm having sex with, if I go to his house and there's no drink, that's fine. But you, this house will never see me again. Do you get it? Like, yeah, it's that, it's that simple. Because clearly, you don't have those sort of like... You, you weren't brought up like that. And that's fine. Everyone's different. But I'm not mm. coming back to this house. I'm a bit more... Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. It's just a normal thing. I feel like when you go to someone's house, like even when you I go, go to, my to the friend's shop, house, do you want anything from the you, shop? Yeah, do you want anything from the shop? Mm. Like you, are, you offer always because if someone's hosting you, the least you can do is buy orange juice. It's orange juice. You get it's like yeah. a pound. Like so, I'm just like. Mm. Okay, guys. So now we're going to be talking about whether or not black people should be or are affected by the Queen's death in the UK. What do you think? Some black people may be like, I, I, I guess my nan is. She's black. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> She'll be, she's probably in front of the telly, it's like rocking back and forth. Aww. Like, but I'm not. Yeah, and I'm black. My so. mum was like, my mum was like this morning, like, oh, the queen's like, mum was going to she was doing too much. Like, oh, the queen, is, the, the, the coffin is coming today. I was like, right, okay, so why do you, like, I don't really understand why people are kind of keeping up with it as black people. I feel like I understand, for me personally, I'm not going to lie, it's sad. Death is sad. Yeah, I'm a Christian. Sad. Death is sad, regardless. It's good because you're going to heaven, but it's sad because someone's gone. But the thing I find the weirdest is that the queen's been a, around ever since I was young. That's it, like... That, that figure's gone, and that's weird for me, but I wouldn't say it's making me sad. What is making me sad is that I didn't get that day off when she died. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I think for me, like, if you have knowledge behind, like, some of the things she's yeah, alleged exactly. it, to oh, have ale been alleged. keeping up with. She wears yeah. a crown with the things so, she's stolen. I'm sorry. Like, there's no alleged. You know I mean? She it's wears like, it. Yeah, it's sad, but... Yeah. 
what about the sadness that she's but caused to be fair people? but to be fair she's it doesn't end with her anyway so it's like yeah do you know what i understand why people will be annoyed colonization all of that great not minimizing it mm. right but it does not end with the queen. So being mm. angry at one person is not. Like, yeah, no, there's, there's a king now. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. Like, we're angry at him too. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. No, but it's like it's not that necessarily say anger, but it's mm. just like I'm not, I'm not. I wasn't affected. Like oh my gosh, the queen. Mm. Like, I didn't feel that way because of there's a lot of blood that's been shed, yeah. a lot of things that have been stolen, I a lot of you. countries colonized and stuff. So. It's just something okay. that happens. Death is promised to all of us. Exactly. Mm. Mm. Not even the queen can escape it. So Chris Cabber's death shooting by the police. What's your thoughts on that? I'm not gonna lie, like death is a death is sad in it, regardless. But for me personally, as a Congolese boy, I'm not gonna lie, that made me really emotional. That's the death that moved me more yeah. than the Queen's death. Oh, do you know what I sorry mean? About the Queen. So, cause I could just feel like if it was another race, would that have happened? hundred percent. Like, do you it know what I mean? And it's happened. like, was it necessary? Cause it's like. I don't say think, for example, yeah, go on. You, no, you like, don't. say for example, like I'm just imagining if I got run upon by some like by gun police, mm. yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna respond. Am I gonna be calm mm. or am I gonna go into fight mode? Mm. And be like, oh my gosh, mm. what the fuck? Mm. So he and then you're moving around like this, yeah. Then they might get scared and think, yeah. not even get scared, but they might think, oh, he's got a gun. Let's yeah, shoot him. Yeah, let's, but yeah. you, you need to be like trained in how people respond to exactly, fear as well. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Because exactly. some people uh, respond aggressively to fear. Some yeah. people like whimper to yeah, fear, yeah. right? And, do you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know how we responded, yeah, we don't but know I just don't think it was called for. And pro- it wasn't called for. Like, what honestly, he was unarmed. What makes me sad is like, you know, you always hear about people dying and it's like, it's so far from home, but that could have been anyone. As in, that could have been my brother. Do you get it? And it's just like, that's the sort of connection I feel to it because it's like, He's even had a, like, he's got a child on the way. Exactly. Like, you've taken away someone's dad, like, because you thought. I think when it comes to shooting a person, or everything needs to be exhausted before you decide, okay, I'm going to shoot. And they said they wanted to question him about whatever early like, in the car what was makes marked you, What shooting. makes you actually fire that's a shot at a person? That's not questioning. That's killing someone. Yeah, like. I feel like that situation is just absolutely crazy. And I honestly feel like this is the really the time for black people to unite. I feel like our ancestors were so good at uniting and being like, all right, do you know what? We're not going to get on the bus. We're not mm. going to do this. We're not going to feed yeah. this organization. We're not going to yeah. give this, this these people our money. But something that we need to learn as as younger, like black Black people is like we there's there's a power in numbers mm. and i feel like we don't have that and that's why people think they can just take the piss i don't even us. like to say the word black anymore like it's melanated do you know what i mean <laughs> or like do you know what i mean it's like yeah. black like what like even that word yeah. is just a whole nother topic but it's sad do that you, you don't mean? like to say that word because you actually don't like to say that word because of the connotations it's had yeah but yeah. we are black people we're not black it's, it's, but, we're not black i am not black but, like, but the fact that you don't want to say that word no is, i'm not black I, the reason itself. why i don't want to say that word is because the fact is i am not black that is black yeah, I feel this you. is black. I feel you. I'm not black. Like, but why? Do, do, I mean? do you know what? Should I tell you why I like the word black? Mm. The reason why I like the word black is because I feel like it unites us as people, and I feel like I something we. It does but me, for all. me, for me personally, what I think, what I think the issue is between us as black people is there's so much colorism, there's so much like separation. Black puts us all together. Not you really. are you could say you're one. African then because like. But okay, fair uh, why enough, is but it? Okay, watch African, this. Watch though. this. Why is it that we're the only race that is labeled that so for example you've got chinese yeah, cool, you've got cool. asian yeah. you've got indian when you yeah. say why but for us it's black black no yeah. like and if you look yeah no but that's wrong as well it's not white it's like caucasian then do you know what i mean or mm. english or I I- you, english or irish or scottish do you understand it's not white if you look in a dictionary the word black here it's got bare negative connotations it's yeah, like we've been programmed yeah, yeah. to say that we're black so that we naturally hate ourselves yeah, we are not black you. like because black, black is like the shadows the dark yeah it's, like it's demonic, hell, like demonic it's this yeah. sadness Fair depression enough. yeah and then white is all like oh, pure this innocent mm, the, the, do you mm. know what i mean so it shouldn't be a thing of black it should be like your you. melanated your african or your somalian or your yeah do you know but what we I mean? we have that within ourselves and we don't really need other people to like validate that. I think that they do because they need to do start putting some respect. Yeah, don't don't call me black. Do it's like do. saying the N word or do you know what I mean? Don't mm, don't fair enough. Do you know what I mean? Um, it happened in Detroit and there was a march Black Lives Matter and then of course the next day there was a march. Is it actually gonna be a change or are we gonna forget it in two weeks? There's not gonna be a change man. Black people are too busy buying designer and trying to be little baby. I'm sorry, like we don't have any values as people anymore. Like we don't come together to fix things like back in the day bro bbm started mark duggan's riots b do you know what bbm is that's a kid's app 
Like someone was like, do you know what? We're writing. Everyone said, cool, we're writing. Now it just takes, everyone's just doing, I'm sorry, everyone's doing think pieces on Chris's death, like, oh, this and that. Bro, get up and do something. Do you get what I'm saying? And personally, I'm not going to lie. I'm one of them people that do need to do more than I just say. And I feel like I haven't been taught that. So for me, it's not in me. But do you know what? If I kept seeing marches, one day I also would go. Do you get what I'm saying? Because we need to do something. <laughs> I think for me... Um, marching has its pros mm. do you know what I mean because it's about people uniting it's about getting everyone together spiritually as yeah. well because it's a spiritual thing yeah. like so I feel like change starts with yourself for first of all yeah and I feel like we need to change spiritually if anything in the material world is going to yeah, change like, we can't yeah. keep thinking yeah, we're going to change things physically we're going to change things yeah. physically but our spiritual selves are not yeah. that's where it starts so I feel like that's what the, where the change is going to be with yeah. yourself first 100% and that's why I can admit that there's more that I could do as like an individual mm. to like do you know what I mean change things and stuff but it's just sometimes you just get into this like you just feel like what's the point what I feel if like I go will I be the like me personally I feel like okay cool if I go to the march how many people are going to be there not that it matters but it's like one person is never going to make a difference but four five hundred people will yeah so I think we just need to get into the habit of thinking cool I'm going to go for myself regardless whoever's there is there do you know what I mean and then that way that's how you need to unite so I just feel like, yeah, like I really think this could be a big chance for us to change things because when it comes to white people and our government, you've got to hit them where it hurts and it's money. Like you've got to stop doing certain things. You've got to stop. Like, for example, when Gucci released that, the, the racist thing, if we all stopped buying things from Gucci, that's what would hurt them. But what we've done, Shade Borough, think pieces, oh, this is wrong, this is wrong. Everyone still wears Gucci. Do you know mm. what I mean? Like we need to actually unite and stop doing things and just hitting these people yeah. where it hurts. Do I still wear Gucci? I, need to I, I told you. I, I still need to wear change. Gucci. <laughs> I still wear because I know what I think is deeper than wearing Gucci. Like yeah. I feel like, like I said before, like change starts within yourself yeah. spiritually. Like there's some people that wear Gucci and they're more righteous than people. Yeah, that yeah. Don't wear a brand. But I'm not even so. talking about being righteous. I'm literally talking about the fact that this is a brand that was racist to black people and yeah. we still wear their clothes. Do you get what I'm saying? But then, if we was to think about it we'll stop eating every every food that we buy is probably a racist company saying they're all trying to kill us but anyway. I feel so like if, if it's not about yeah um necessarily stop doing something or change yourself it's about how do you na navigate your way through what is going on you mm. you can't necessarily change the world do you know what i mean there's always going to yeah. be evil if you look at like um the law of polarity yeah there's mm. always going to be good and it's always going to be, be evil bad, yeah. you're going to never be able to get rid of evil if you believe in that mm. um that law yeah mm. so that being said it's not about changing the evil it's about being balanced within yourself and navigating through this world mm. that we live in. Do you know what I mean? That's I what agree. I think. Okay, so that was Big Ego Media Album's podcast. Thank you for joining. See and you we'll soon. see you. Yeah, see, you soon. <laughs> see you next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>